Ape Man have brought out their latest projector, this little baby here. This is the LC400 and it is designed to be very portable, which it is. I mean, look at the size of this little baby. It's definitely portable. It also comes with a projector screen in case you need to use one. I will be getting it out, but normally I just use my wall, but I will be getting it out and showing you how good or how bad it is. It will only be a cloth, ideally, you want to fix it to some sort of frame, but we will be giving it a little test. Also, they claim that this little projector here is 80% brighter than other projectors within the same price range. So we will be seeing how brighter it is and how good it is. Plus, it has plenty of connectivity, as you can see in my picture there. So it should suit most people. So what we're going to do in this video is do the unboxing so you get a good idea exactly what you're getting for your money. Going through how to set it up and how easy it is to set it up and make all your connections, whatever device you are going to be using, and giving it a test on some 4K footage. So with that, let's get on with it. Right, before we get stuck into it, I'm just going to quickly talk to you about the actual screen, this little baby here. As you can see, I've set it all up, it's not perfect and it's never going to be perfect unless you put it on an actual frame and fix it to that frame. If you want straight edges, that's the only way you're going to do it properly. But this is basically what you will get. I haven't filled up all the holes by putting hooks on them because I'm going to be taking it down because I prefer to do it on just a plain old wall or a proper projector screen. Even though it's only a budget projector, I think, you know, at the end of the day, if you bought a proper projector screen, that would probably be best. But I wanted to show you what it looks like, and yeah, it does the job. So I'm going to turn off the light, start up the projector, and then we're going to talk about how to set it all up and things like that. Right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this remote control. I'm going to show you the menu, this baby here, and how to navigate through it. It's quite easy, actually. And then what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at some photos, some video footage, and then I'm going to link up my computer and show you my computer and how clear the text is, or hopefully anyway. So with that, let's get on with it. So on the remote control, there's two options. There is the menu itself, the main menu, this baby there. And also up here, there is the source selector, this little baby on top right. So we have AV, HDMI 1 and 2, VGA and media player is your USB. Also, it will time out after about three seconds going back to here. So let's quickly go through the menu. So we have timer and you can do sleep auto and things like that. You have options for changing language or restoring back to the factory default. We have sound and I do believe the surround sound doesn't work very well on Dolby surround sound. So if you find you lost the sound, you need to turn off the surround sound on here. That's what I read in the manual earlier. So something to bear in mind. And then you have picture control. I've changed it to user, but you have soft, standard, vivid, and back to user again. So you might want to play about with it. Most projectors, depending on the environment, you will need to play about with it and get it suited for that environment. I've done it hopefully for this environment. There is a bit of light coming through from my windows, even though I've got the blinds shut. I will show you some footage at night at the end of the video in case you want to see what it looks like when it's really dark. To come back out of there, all you need to do is press the back button, that little button now, and then we have flip, and I'm going to quickly go through the flips. So that's upside down. That's upside down, bit reversed, I believe. Yeah, and that's reversed and the right way up and then back to normal. So you have four options. So I'll leave that alone from now on. So if we go to photos first. Not all your photos will work. Depending on the format they're in, they will either work or they won't. So we're just going to quickly go through a couple. Also, this bar at the bottom, which gives you a selection of menu, and you can go through that. You can skip any pictures you don't want to see, stuff like that. If you want to get rid of this, just press the back button once and it gets rid of it. Press it twice, it will jump right back. 
and this is a colour chart that you may want to use for setting it up. Like I said, this is a budget projector. Don't expect it to be a fantastic picture quality because it's never going to be unsupported file. There you go. There's one. Now, it's not that picture. It's the one before. So we'll, let's come out of there and go back again. Go back one more and go to movies. Also, if you leave it long enough, it will actually come up with a little preview for you like it just did there. So let's do that one. Press the OK button and away we go. Again, if you want the menu to come up down the bottom, if you just press the OK button, up she pops. And it says 4K Ultra, but it's not. This is 1080p, remember? This projector cannot project 4K. If you want to get rid of that, just press the back button once and she's gone. Like I said, at the end of the video, I will play you some more video, but I will play it where it's pitch black in this room, so you should get a better quality of picture. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Like I said, never going to be fantastic, so don't expect it to be for the amount of money you're paying. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to switch over to my computer, and uh, I'm going to show you what it's like if you plug in a PC. So what we need to do is go to source and I believe it's HDMI 1 I've got mine plugged into. I might have to log in though. So give me a sec. Oh no, I'm logged in. Look at that. Like I said, there is a bit of light coming through but I will show you at night time what this looks like as well. So it should be a lot better. So this is a video on YouTube as you can see. I just wanted to show you what it actually looks like from coming from a YouTube video and yeah it looks okay like I said never going to be fantastic so don't expect it to be so close that down I'm going to do a bit of text now I'm not going to type anything in particular I just want to see or show you exactly what she looks like How's that? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? You can read it. Don't forget, you probably need to do a little bit more setting up your projector to get it perfect. Something like text will help you for setting it up as well. But you can see that nice and clear, can't you? Or pretty clear anyway. Like I said, I will show you some nighttime footage. Something else to know if you're thinking about using it wirelessly like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, it will not work. It doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, so don't expect it to work. If you want to plug your phone in, you're going to have to do it on a cable. So you're going to have to go from a USB Type-C to a USB or a USB Type-C to a HDMI connection. That's the only way I think you can get it to work because it doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi. It's a budget projector. So let me know in the comments what you think, whether you think it's a good quality projector for the amount of money it costs. I think it's around about 80 to 90 pounds, something like that. Don't forget, you also get the projector screen itself. You know, it's not the highest quality in the world, but if you're looking for a projector screen, something like this, I'll be taking this down as soon as this video's done. I won't be using this. As soon as the video's done, I will take it down and wrap it up and put it away. But I wanted to show you what it looks like with the projector screen up and yeah, that's it. So with that, I will stick some video at the end of this video in case you want to see what it looks like at night time and that will be some random footage plus a bit from my computer that I'm running on now, just a random bit. There won't be no talking or anything, I'll edit all that out but it will give you an idea what it looks like at night time. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to watch the end bit.